I was in the theater and I began working in television as an assistant director. Um, and the, the, the time was so ripe because this was right at the beginning, 1950, I would guess, 50, 51 at the latest. And they needed people. They just needed bodies. And uh, they asked me to come to CBS because a friend of mine was working there. And uh, became an AD at CBS and then a director. When the director went off to do something else, it was uh, incredibly lucky and effortless, which is, uh, I feel very guilty saying that because I know how hard it is to become one and how other people have had to struggle. But it was obviously something that you felt comfortable with immediately. What happened was that uh, it was just work. It was terrific work and no different than uh, what it had been like to be an actor or uh, to be a good assistant director. It just was a question of using yourself, of uh, first of all, learning the technique, critical. Uh, and they were helpful there because nobody knew the technique. It was all just starting up. And so it was a time of, I wouldn't even call it great experimentation. There was nobody around to say no because nobody knew enough to say no. So that you could, you, we were all quite very, very free trying what we wanted to try. The shows were uh, stupid, but uh, that was fine too because we were learning all the time, one step after another. You just saw what worked, what didn't work. And, and particularly technically, uh, when, when I did a live half hour drama, three cameras, and each camera had a turret on it. And on each turret were four lenses, which meant that over the body of the show, I'd be using 12 lenses. Now that's, uh, learning about those lenses is irreplaceable. I mean, there's nothing in movies that gives you that experience. It would take you 10, 12 pictures before you went through enough of that. And also the wonderful thing was that because it all uh, moved so quickly, uh, you would do a sequence, it would take in a two minute, 90 second sequence, there might be eight, 10 cuts. So there wasn't even time to say, are you on the right lens to the cameraman? Because the shot would have been over by then. You had to learn to recognize the lens on the monitor. And that kind of uh, technical help is just irreplaceable and has been invaluable in movies. Do you remember when someone said, do you want to go and stop doing television and go and do a film? Again, the lucky accident. Uh, there was a very good writer that we use on the television show by the name of Reggie Rose. And uh, he came to me one day, he said, Sidney, did you ever see my television show of 12 Angry Men? And I said, no. And he said, well, we're going to make a movie of it with Henry Fonda. Do you want to do it? That's that silly, that easy. And Fonda, who was the co-producer, had seen something that I had done in the theater two years earlier, and when Reggie proposed it, Fonda said, oh yeah, I saw something off Broadway that he did. He's talented, yeah, fine. There was no auditioning, there were no conversations. Uh, fell into my lap. 